Okay. This conference will now be recorded. Uh, by the way, did you hear that conference will now be recorded there, Mahesh? Yes. Okay, so I'm working with uh, Mahesh Katri and we're recording this how to place a want. And one of the key things on ICI World is how to place a want. And you'll notice, and there's a lot of brokers that are doing this that are using a region like the GTA. And I'm going to ask you not to move the mouse, please, uh, Mahesh. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and you'll see the word GTA. That's actually not good enough. Whether it's Montreal, Vancouver, uh, Greater Los Angeles area, that's actually not good enough anymore because it's too vague. In the case of Toronto, some people only mean Mississauga to Scarborough, but the actual GTA is Burlington right to Oshawa. But some people don't want to go that far or some people want to go even farther. So we no longer ever use the GTA. So I'm going to recommend that we actually remove that. And I've just done that on Mahisha's computer. Now I'm going to ask Mahisha a question. When you're looking for a banquet hall, I would like to know from you, Mahish, what is the furthest westerly city that these people are looking for? We call it a geographic limitation by city, east, west, oh. north, and south. So the question is, what is the furthest westerly city that these people are looking? Uh, let's say, uh, we would say uh, Kitchener. Kitchener Take that in. Okay, so do you see why GTA is not good enough? Now do you understand? Yeah. This is a perfect example of this recording to help people in the future. I'm so thankful to you, Mahish, for allowing me to record this with you. Yeah. So here's what you do. You type it in, wanted. Kitchener to Toronto. Please type. Go ahead. And then say two, another two after that. What is the furthest easterly city that these people will look for a banquet hall? Would be. Excellent. Now do a comma and another space. And then say north to, uh -huh. <clears throat> type in north to. Now there's choices here. You can go to number seven highway. You can go to uh, <clears throat> New Market maybe, or maybe to Barry, Aurelia, or maybe Perry Sound or Sudbury or Sault Ste. Marie. Like how far north will they go? You've got it north to Barry is good. Yeah. I'll do another comma space. Now, <clears throat> Niagara region, it's good to type that in yeah. because it hasn't really been included here. We want to make sure yeah. that it's not being overlooked. Yeah. So Niagara region, I would actually type in. So just to, and you can remove Ontario. Yeah. You don't need that. So whenever you have, I'm going to finish off this little video here in a moment, but whenever you are have a want, GTA is not good enough. Greater Montreal area is not good enough. You have to put in an eastern, western, <clears throat> northern, and southern geographic limitation by yeah. city. Now, there's one more thing I'm going to continue on this listing to make mm -hmm. sure everybody understands how to place a one. First of all, you've got banquet hall. What we're doing, and you'll notice here, I want people to notice this one more thing. Let me highlight it, please. Thank you, Mahesh. You'll see that for wants, you must always type for wants, you must type the word wanted at the beginning of the subject line. You do not have to type in have for haves because everything on our service is a have, but for wants, you must type the word wanted. Okay. Now, the same four ingredients, these four ingredients must be included in the subject line. You now have the location done properly, nicely done. You now have the type of property, banquet hall. What we do not have is the price range, size range, or the sizzle. I'm going to explain that now. After banquet hall, uh, do a comma, space, a dollar sign. And what is the minimum for a banquet hall you're looking? The minimum price. Uh, we're not going to do the size. We're going to do the price. 
Yeah. 500,000. You can yeah. do a dash and then a dash and then a dollar sign. And then you can put in the price. Now, this is good what you have done, but yeah. just to show you sometimes we will, uh, you don't have to do it, leave it the way it is, the way it is. But sometimes we will do a dollar sign 500K yeah. and then a dash and then a dollar sign five and a capital letter M. Yeah. But it's not wrong what you want, but I'm happy if you change it because this is a video that shows people how to do it. And this is helpful. And we do not leave a space between yeah. the 500K and the, and the M. We usually do it right together. I don't know, we just got in the habit of doing it and it seems to work for the last 25 years doing it this way. Uh, okay, now you will notice one more item here that's called sizzle. And what does sizzle mean for a buyer? Well, I'm gonna cover a few things. Yeah. Sizzle means what is so good about your buyer in this case, Mahish, what's so good about your buyer? It's the cash buyer. Cash buyer is wonderful, excellent. Now, can you stop here while I say a few things and do not move the mouse? Thank you. <clears throat> For residential people, sometimes it could be the word qualified. So if you have a buyer that's qualified, it's good to put it in. Yeah. Some other things that can help your buyer is the flexibility for closing date. So we don't have to do it here, but in the case of residential, sometimes it's good where you can say 30 days to six months closing to, because that gives um, the owner the ability to choose any closing date he wants from 30 days right up to 180 days. So a 30-180 day closing is actually some sizzle for a buyer because sometimes the owner has a choice to choose two offers and the one with the most flexible closing, he might choose it. So right. qualified, cash buyer, motivated, all those kinds of things are very good. And this yeah. is what separates our service from some of the private services out there where the FISBOs are offering things to each other, that we have many, many, many qualified buyers that are already qualified for mortgages and they have the cash. Instead, there's a lot of problems on the FISBO services they get into problems, they don't get mortgages. Now, yeah. here's the important point. Go down this page. You've got the business area chosen for Canada. That's wonderful. Yeah. No, no, stay in the business area, please, Mahish. You're jumping all over. And you, can you go back up just a little bit more so I can see the business area? I need the business area centered properly. Do you, oh, wait a minute, take your hand off. That's it. Can you please leave it like this? Do you see the business area here? Yeah, we've got Ontario. Now, when you have uh, Whitby, we could have it could go right around Eastern Ontario because you're getting right on the edge of Eastern Ontario. Can you choose Eastern Ontario, please, as well as Greater Toronto? And do you see where it says Niagara region? Yeah. And Northern Ontario is where Barrie is. And then Southwestern Ontario is the region where Kitchener is and all that. So you have to choose Southwestern. Now in the next box, you must go through every single area in this, you must highlight every single city in this next box that applies. If you miss one city, you can actually miss doing a deal and not realize it. So you're doing it correctly. Now, you continue on. If you're using a Mac computer, you yeah. I think you're holding the command key down and clicking each one. Is that correct, Mahesh? Right, right. That's on a Mac. If you're on a Windows computer, you have to hold the control button down and using your left mouse button, you can select and deselect locations. Sometimes we'll drag it down through them all, but in Mahesh's case, he knows exactly what he's doing and he's selecting each one. Now, if you, anyone that's listening to this in the future, if you miss one city, you can actually be missing doing a deal and not realize it. So that's why it's important to select every single city. 
So we say much like a pilot, a professional pilot has a checklist. This is like a checklist for a real estate broker or salesperson. Make sure you select every single one that applies. Otherwise, you can be missing doing deals. Okay. Okay, good job. Now, stop here for a moment. I Please go slow. And you'll see here that it says wanted. Uh, yeah. This is a want. Make sure, people, that you choose want. I've gone through many, many haves, and yet they were a want in the subject line because people did not change this. We've got brokers that have not made money, and when we go and check their listings, we find that there's mistakes in their listings. They didn't choose the cities. They had the have where it was a want or a want where it was a have, and things like that can really make a difference. Now, in here, I'm also going to request that you do not choose categories or business areas that do not apply. You only choose business areas if you have a property for sale. You must only choose the business area in which the property is located. When you have a have or a want, you must only choose the business category that applies. And a, an apartment building does not apply to a banquet center. Do you agree or disagree, Mahesh? Yeah, I agree, but here it says investments. Um, true, but this is more for residential investments. If I have to specify in the future, I'll do that. Okay. Thank you for removing that, because people that are searching apartment buildings don't want to see you know, businesses. This is a business opportunity, and it also could be a commercial building. So you'll notice that it's good to select more than one business area when it applies. You can now go down to after the date, fill in the next four fields. Oh, recreational should be removed. Shopping center should be removed. And sites commercial should be removed because this is a banquet hall. That's correct. Very good. Thank you for doing that. And uh, it, you know, this is a self-policing system. It's not a service like a real estate board, which is the best service in the world. It's the backbone of our service, our banquet halls. I mean, our um, our uh, real estate board service, the MLS system, because everything is checked. There's a lot of actual mistakes that are on ICI Road. Sometimes you have to search more than once. Can you go back to where we were to the date, please? And um, sometimes you'll search a business section and you don't find it, but if you search the subject line by keyword, you find it. So that shows you that keywords are essential on our service to make sure you have it. And just yeah. let me cover one more thing, Mahish. If you have, yeah. if you're looking for a Tim Hortons or some yeah. kind of a franchise, you can type it in Tim Hortons franchise wanted. But if you didn't yeah. put in the word donut, you might not find it. So you got to watch yeah. the keywords that you put in your subject line, a donut, a coffee shop, a Tim Hortons. If you put all three in, you got a better chance of finding things. Yeah. Now, under the date, whenever you have a want, you must fill in the next four fields. The type description, you've got it, good, that is done. Now, for the location, please go back to the subject line and highlight everything from the word Kitchener to Niagara region. Highlight it and copy that. Good job, and paste it in the location here. Excellent, and you put in the minimum price. A lot of people are missing, Here's another important thing, the minimum price and the maximum price. If you don't fill them in, many people are searching properties by price. They search the buyers by price. And if you don't fill it in, you can be missing getting found and be missing doing deals and not even realize it. Yeah. Okay, you've got everything here good. You can go down the page now. Okay, uh, you need to put in all the zeros, however, in the price and price max. It will require the zero, so you do have to put in the five comma zero 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 comma zero zero zero. And you're going from 500,000, is that correct? Yeah. To five million. Okay, and is, is that what's in the subject line too? Yeah. Okay, excellent, and go down the page to the comments area. Now, Go and show me the comments, please, right now. Just show me the comments area. Stop here. The comments here area has no limit. It's unlike the subject line, which has a limit of 160. 
we recommend that you copy the subject line and paste it in this comments area. Please now go back to the subject line, highlight the whole subject line, but don't move. Just stay here, please, for a moment. You'll notice that there's a little subject line counter here to keep track of the number of characters. In this case, we're up to 109, and you'll notice that the limit here is 160 over here. So if you have a lot more things to say, go down now to the, uh, you've already copied it. Oh, okay, if you wanna add something else, you can, very good. Now go down to the comments area, or you can copy all of that and paste it in the comments area. And if you have a lot more to say, you can do it. However, there's another important thing to know. Less is better than more on a advertising, classified advertising type service that we are similar to in one respect. Less is better than more. The number one job that this service is, is to trigger a lead for you. It's actually not to sell the property. You, the member, I mean, he's sure going to sell the property. All the members are going to sell it. The people, the readers are going to be the ones that sell the property, not ICI World. We're just helping you to make connections worldwide. You can now actually go down to the very bottom of the page. Go ahead. And if it is a buyer's brokers, in some cases, um, <clears throat> When you have a buyer looking, for instance, for apartment buildings or some properties, there's not enough commission sometimes in some cases, isolated cases where you have to get paid by the buyer. You can actually uh, get paid by the buyer and say uh, buyer's broker. In fact, you can even make a statement that the buyer can be paid by the broker, or I'm sorry, I'll take that back. The broker can get paid by the buyer. You can actually make a statement in the subject line sometimes when that's the case. All right, the last question on the page is very important. Will you allow your listings to be advertised on other brokers' websites? There's almost 2,000 other brokers' websites that this listing will appear instantly and automatically. Our goal is to have 1 million salespeople in the world have this on their website so that when you place it here, your information will be on 1 million other brokers' websites instantly. That's exactly what is this set the uh, setup for ICI World is to do is to allow your listings to be on other brokers' websites and other brokers' listings can now be on your website, Mahish. That is the ultimate in networking in the world from a broker's point of view. The whole industry has yet to learn how to do this and they're just learning now little by little by little. We've been building this service one-on-one, -on -one, but it's ready for some big boys to take it up a notch and take it over from what we've been doing to somebody. And we're actually attending uh, world conventions now. We attended the National Association of Realtors in Washington um, six months ago. We went to the Inman Connect Conference in New York City a little while ago and meeting with all the big boys. And we're gonna be attending other world conferences. There's a big one coming up, the Ontario Real Estate Association Conference. We even have a booth at that one to try to make connections with a company, an organization that can take this service up another notch on behalf of realtors worldwide, because all of the seminars we do, we ask a question, would you like this service to be provided by your real estate boards? And we get a 100% answer across the board over the last year and a half. It's ready for prime time, but it needs some big voice to take it up further than even what we've been doing it here. And I would stay on in a consulting capacity somehow. Go down to the bottom of the page and you can actually modify the listing, uh, Mahish. And you click and you wait about four or five seconds and then click on the OK. And you'll see two important, important things happen. The first one is that your message was sent out to the following mailing lists. There's about 20,000 emails that are going out a day, sending them out to these following mailing lists. And when you click on enter, sometimes you have to wait because there's so many emails that are being generated and are being processed and going into the pipeline that you have to wait for it to be processed. If you clicked on modify record right away, it sends out a duplicate listing and that's not good. It starts to spam the industry, but all our members are getting used to know that sometimes the results don't come back right away. Now, the second thing is it's given a brand new number and it comes to the top of the database. New listings will get sent out to the industry by email 
and listings that are modified after 30 days will get sent out to the industry by email. If you modify a listing within 30 days, it will not get sent out to the industry by email. Can you now please click on latest world commercial on the left, please, uh, Mahesh? Yeah. This is one way that the public can see your information. <clears throat> and you'll see that Mahesh's new want has just been placed on the service. And if you wanna check the listing and see what it looks like, go ahead and click on the message number, please. Thank you. Go down now to the bottom of the page <clears throat> and you'll actually see the information. And this is how the public worldwide will see it. If you have a mobile phone and you don't have ICI World installed, you should click on it because you, everyone in the world now should be checking the ICI World app <clears throat> once every couple of days. And I'm gonna explain the reason why. <clears throat> Can you stop right here for a moment, please, Mahesh? When you check the app daily, you're gonna see these wants come on the phone. And if you happen to be talking to the owner of a banquet hall, you could ask the owner of that banquet hall, would you consider selling? And if he says, yes, I'm happy to sell it, you bring me $4 million and I'll sell it today, you have a built-in buyer from Mahish. Secondly, if you're driving up and down the streets in your city in Ontario, if you drive by a banquet hall, why not stop in and talk to the owner of that banquet hall and ask him a question and introduce yourself, you're in real estate. If I could get you the price you wanted for your banquet hall, would you consider selling? They might say, no, not at this time, but I'll keep your business card and I'll call you if we are. And if they ever call you back, you get a hold of Mahish, you go make an appointment, go show the banquet hall and you make $80,000. It's just like that snap of the fingers. If you have the ability to find and uncover a banquet hall, you have a chance to make money. Now, just stay here, Mahesh, you're really helping me do a, a, a really yeah. good video to help all brokers in the industry to help you. But also, if somebody's looking for a restaurant, if somebody's looking for a hotel, a motel, a gas station, a daycare center, any kind of business, Everyone on this service and all the public and all the realtors in the business, you don't even have to be a member, you should be checking the wants on ICI World regularly because the next time you're driving by a hotel, a motel, stop in and talk to the owner. Next time you go to a restaurant, stop in and talk to the owner of the restaurant and ask them, you know, if I could get you the price you wanted, would you consider selling? You've got built-in buyers. Now, if that owner says, yes, I'm interested to sell, at whatever price, but I'm not gonna give you a listing. Everyone must learn the three special questions on ICI World, but that's the end of this particular topic. You can learn the other videos from other videos that we have, how to work exclusive information. Hang on one moment, my next appointment is coming in. Uh, David, yep. I'm gonna be with you one moment. Can you get online now, David, please? Uh, go to iciworld.com and click on webinar workshops. We're actually in a workshop. We're just finishing a recording of the workshop and I'm gonna finish now. And uh, Mahesh, thank you so much. I'm gonna stop yeah. the recording. One moment, please. Uh, everyone in the world can go to icirworld.tv, which is our educational YouTube channel. And you can see the latest recordings because that's where I'm gonna be putting them. But you can also visit icirworld.com and click on seminar. There's four recordings there that everyone can learn as well thank that's you again for uh, doing a wonderful job oh thank you so much mahish don't go away hang on yeah i'm just gonna stop this recording here if i can oh i gotta pause it sorry okay